Hello everyone, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to show you how to track your follower growth on Twitter for free. So here is an example. This is a tracker I built last year and it has been tracking and then logging the, the follower of my account on Twitter. So you can see it's locked every day and also I use a graph to graph out the growth here. So you can see it's not a static growth, it's actually triggered by events. So that gives me a lot of insights how I can grow audience on Twitter. So let me show you how. So to build this tracker, we will need three steps. The first, we need to create a new Google Sheet doc. The second is to pull the data. The third one is to automate. So first, you need to have a Google account so that you can use Google Sheet. So you can do new Google Sheets to create a new Google Sheet doc. Here, the name, you can name whatever you want. It doesn't matter. We can say Twitter follower tracker. And for the sheet name, we will call something like example. So you can name something else, but we will reference this name in the script in the second step. So we'll do underscore example. The next step is to create a apps script to pull the data. So we'll go to extension, app script, So in this script, we're going to write the code to pull the information, which is your Twitter follower and dump the data in the spreadsheet. So to save your time, I already uh, written the code so you can just copy. I will actually share the code in the description. You can copy from there. So just to demonstrate where I get the the follower account, I use a API, just this. So basically you just replace your Twitter handle with my name here. And after you hit enter, you will see it's being downloaded. It is in the form of a JSON file. So in this JSON file, so you see this is my Twitter information. This is my screen name, my full name, and also my folder account. So our goal is to extract this from this JSON file in this app script. So I will copy the code here. All right. So this is the code, so you can see we reference to the sheet name that we previously defined here. And this is my screen name. Remember to change to your Twitter handle so that you can put yours data. And then in this function, we're going to fetch the data from this API and parse it and put it into the row. So for each row, we'll have a date and a follower account. So let's try it, let's save and run it. So here we need to give the permission. You need to go to the height advanced and go to untitled project unsafe. This is yours project. No one else can access to it. So it is okay. So we say allow it and then say execution complete. So let's go back to the Google sheet. So see here, this is being populated. Since we already get the cont, the next one will be automating this script. So we want that to be run in a cadence. For example, every day or every week or every six hours, something like that. So 
for this example, I will just set that to be every day. So let's go to here, trigger. We will create a new trigger for this. And here we say create a trigger and that will do populate for our account. And then we want that to be run by time driven and it is day timer and we want that to be running between midnight and one o'clock. So that's it. Let's save. So we create this trigger and it will actually trigger this script every day between midnight and 1 a.m. We'll trigger this so that it will populate this document. Okay, that's all. I hope you found this helpful and I left all the related information in the description below, including the code and the text tutorial. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel for more tips by Grace. Bye.